Hello, my name is Vicent Nemeimana and this is Mikla Life, your life in fullness. In today's video, I would like us to discuss is physical beauty or attractiveness important when it comes to deciding on who to date and or to marry? This is Mikla Life and you're going to have a good time. As always, I really encourage you to look at that subscribe button down there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click on it and click on the bell icon that shows there after as well so that you never miss any video that's coming from this uh, YouTube channel. Thank you so much. So, today I would like us to discuss something that's very interesting. When we want to choose someone who to date or to marry, do we really consider beauty or should beauty, physical beauty or attractiveness be insisted on as a very important factor when we are deciding on these things in relationships and dating? Let's check it out. Many people including your pastor, your elder, or any other respectable counselor have emphasized that we shouldn't put much emphasis on physical beauty of any person but on the inner character of a person especially when we are looking into dating and marriage relationships. However, an exploration of this game clearly shows that physical beauty is a very big factor that many consider when they are dating. The difference is we rarely talk about it. Indeed, I do not see any pastor or any respectable counselor asking you the question, are you physically attracted to her? Instead, most pastors during counseling will likely ask you the question, do you love her? And you forgetting that it is actually possible to love someone but when you are not attracted to him or her, you will automatically reply, yes pastor, I love her and off the wedding counseling will begin or the real marriage will set off. But the question still remains, should physical beauty or attractiveness be an important factor when we are deciding on who to marry and or date? Now, let's explore this. Now, the negative connotation is around physical beauty or our emphasis on it are even more sounding when it comes to Christian circles. For example, Pastor Tim Charis and MC Kinile, two respectable pastors across this globe, wrote articles and emphasized that we shouldn't consider physical beauty when we are looking at relationships, but we should concentrate so much on inner character of a person. Even my favorite, John Piper, is confident to tell you no when you ask, oh pastor, should I really put physical beauty or attractiveness on my list of the things I'm going to check out if I'm trying to choose someone for dating or marriage relationship. In their articles, when explored deeply, you can find the real reason why these pastors are so hesitant when it comes to supporting the emphasis on the physical beauty or attractiveness of a person. It is because if opened wrongly, physical beauty or our emphasis on it can be more destructive than our ignorance of it altogether. Maybe they are right, therefore we should be careful when explaining or when exploring such a topic. Nevertheless, these pastors are suffering for nothing because when everything is done and said, physical beauty and attractiveness remains one of the top things that people look and consider before deciding on who to date and or marry. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to explore biblical and non-biblical evidence that underpin the relevance of physical beauty in any relationship and therefore we shall come to the conclusion of answering the question is physical beauty or attractiveness an important factor in dating and or marriage relationships my name is Vincent Nemeimana and you are going to have a good time this is Mikla Life YouTube channel it's enjoyment as always every video that I share on this YouTube channel there is an article and a PDF version of it at www.nemvix.com. The message of this video is right there at www.nemvix.com. A detailed article with all the evidence and all the links and you can download it, you can read it, you can do whatever you want. I have shared the link in the description of this video. Just check it out, click on it, go to my website and access the full article and all the evidence. To explore this topic easily so that each one of us gets it exactly, we are going to look at it in four parts. In part one, we are going to explore non-biblical evidence that underpin the relevance 
or physical beauty or attractiveness in dating and or marriage relationships. Then we shall look at the biblical evidence that underpin the relevance of physical beauty or attractiveness in dating and marriage relationships. And then number three, we shall answer the question of what is this physical beauty that we are talking about as in if someone is beautiful, what are the characteristics of this someone that we look at and say, wow, he or she is beautiful. And we shall answer the question which we are on, is physical beauty a very important factor when it comes to dating and all marriage relationships? Non-biblical evidence that underpin physical beauty and its relevance in dating and all marriage relationships. In 2009, a study was done by Luo and Zhang. Now, in their study, they wanted to explore what characters, what things do people consider attractive that make them form relationships. It isn't surprising that these guys found out that in their report, the strongest predictor of attraction for both sexes was partner's physical attractiveness. That is Yang in 2009's study. After all, romance and sexual satisfaction are the biggest predictor or the biggest factors for any marriage relationship. And uh, physical beauty is part of the reasons or is part of the ingredients for any sexual relationship. And marriage is about sexual relationship as well. And pleasure and physical beauty is part of that game. In 1987, Leslie, Magorin and Rin produced a paper entitled The Continuing Role of Physical Attractiveness in Marriage. In that paper, it was found out that physical attractiveness is a big determinant factor of marriage elements like sexual satisfaction, or pleasure, and even faithfulness, especially for men. Those are not the only studies. There are hundreds, many more studies that show that physical beauty is a very big considerable factor for many people when they are deciding on who to date and or marry. Of course, the emphasis on physical beauty or attractiveness is much higher among men than it is among women. Indeed, when you explore dating apps, you realize that the profiles of women are filled with their physical beauty. They like to show off how physically they are relevant, which means that they actually understand what men want physical beauty or attractiveness but when you look at men their profiles are likely to be filled with how caring and successful they are in general both sexes consider or emphasize physical beauty and attractiveness but really it's worth noting that men consider it much more than women do now let's explore the biblical evidence that underpin the relevance of physical beauty and all attractiveness and as i have told you i'm going to be referring a lot to my article my notes at www.namevix.com all right now bible does not shy away from the word beauty and i mean physical beauty not the inner character only okay let's start it from genesis it is said that when god presented eve to adam adam was amazed at the beauty of eve and in his words he confessed and said well this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh she will be called woman because she was taken out of man. In the same book, Abraham calls his wife Sarai. Sarai, right? He calls her beautiful to look at. That is completely physical. Now, in Genesis 24, 16, Isaac, Isaac's servant describes Rebekah as damsel, a young and married woman and pretty. Now, you will look at that story of Isaac's servant trying to get a wife for his master and the description he gives when he sees Rebecca. Of course, there is no doubt that in all these cases, the inner beauty or character of these people is considered, but there is no exclusion of the physical beauty as well. And we are going to see it even more. In Genesis chapter 39 verse 6, Joseph is called or is described as well built and handsome. In Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 9 verse 2, Saul is described as a fine young man who stood head taller and was better than other men in the land. King David is referred to as young, 
turned turned is brown okay so meaning um, brown in some ways in some people in some cultures to be brown can be considered as beautiful we are going to look at them in details and handsome that's one samuel chapter 16 verse 12. in the same book samuel abigail the wife of the foolish and cruel man nabal is regarded as wise and beautiful that's one samuel 25 verse 3. when david noticed the Bathsheba while she was bathing what he saw was a physical beauty on her. King Solomon's book, Song of Solomon, is full of melodies and descriptions of physical beauty and attractiveness of both men and women alike. For example, in chapter 4, the beauty of a woman is described like this. Let me read it for you. Your breasts are like two phones. Your lips are like red silk threads. Your teeth are like newly sheared sheep. Your eyes are like doves, and your hair like a flock of goats streaming down Mount Gilead. In the same book, chapter 5, verse 10, man's handsomeness is described as follows. Let me read it for you again. My lover is healthy and tan. His head is like the finest gold. His hair is wavy and black. His eyes are like doves. His cheeks are like beds of spices. His hands, his lips, his legs, his body are all wonderful, beautiful. And listen to this. His mouth is sweet to kiss, and I desire him very much. That is physical beauty. All right? There are so many more other verses in the Bible that talk and reflect about uh, physical beauty of individuals, but we have considered those few ones. Maybe what's important is our interpretation of them. Let's get to it. To properly interpret the emphasis on physical beauty in the Bible, especially in the Old Testament, let's look at the interpretation of those verses by New Testament authors. Now, let's start with 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 3 to 4. Peter says, it is not fancy hair, gold jewelry, or fine clothes that should make you beautiful. No, your beauty should come from within you. The beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit that will never be destroyed and is very precious to God. Indeed, God had made it clear when it comes to Eliab when Samuel was choosing David and Jesse, the father of David, was to present all his sons to Samuel. There is one son who was called Eliab, who physically was good, uh, with a good uh, standing and tall and handsome as a man. But God had said this, look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature. <laughs> like I've told you, height to us men is beauty. Because I have refused him, it doesn't matter how beautiful physical someone is for the Lord sees not as a man sees for man looks on the outward appearance but the Lord looks on the heart very important now what does that mean it means that physical beauty yes it is that's attractive and we like it but to God it doesn't matter if you can't have the inner beauty the inner character the calm spirit that is precious to God the point is it doesn't matter how beautiful someone is on the outside what God cares about most is the inner character. So, what is physical beauty? When we say someone is beautiful or handsome, what features are we exactly talking about? All right. Now, to answer this question very well, we shall have to bear in mind that true beauty lies in the hands of the beholder. A concept that was first developed by Plato, the Greek philosopher, but later more developed by uh, Margaret Wolfe Hungerford, the Irish novelist. What this statement simply means is that beauty is subjective. What is beautiful to me may not be beautiful to you. And what is beautiful to you may not be beautiful to me. Now, when we talk about that a guy is handsome or a girl is beautiful, we shall be talking about exactly what you think is beautiful but as tim charis elaborates in his article we can't shy away from the fact that the modern way of defining a physical beauty sex attractiveness has also affected us and therefore giving us almost one similar way of defining beauty yeah so what is around us the modern way of understanding what is beauty the society and what people really say as beautiful 
has entered us slowly by slowly so consciously or unconsciously when we say someone is beautiful or isn't someone is attractive or isn't we are basically referring to what we know as the physical beauty from the social perspective or from the influence of the world so without shying away from that influence it is possible that there is a general way that we can define the beauty for almost all of us even though in practice each one of us will hold uh, his own definition additionally in science and psychology the major aim is to have one objective truth something that we can all agree on if we left everything to subjectivity including beauty then we wouldn't have a clear way to pursue what's higher or far beyond what our mind can grasp to men and women alike being young yes youthfulness on the face and a little bit tall and then not too much weight is considered as a physically attractive specifically men like ladies who are thin not too big and young surprisingly and evolutionary men like to quickly look and gauge and measure the fertility and the productive features of women uh, breasts hips maybe the only exception here is the face <laughs> now talking about the face for ladies the face that is symmetric both sides look similar is regarded as a uh, beautiful and also averageness of facial features averageness is uh, facial features like the nose the eyes the teeth there is that balancing of size one being the half of the other the half of the other also about to uh, women a sexual diamorphic face when we talk about diamorphic face we are meaning someone who is a woman is womanly on the face and someone who is a man is man on the face of course you have ever heard of these comments from boys uh, that uh, she looks like a man now that's a bad comment it means that you are not beautiful when they say she looks like a man it means diamorphically your face doesn't affect you as a woman and when they say he looks like a woman it means the face diamorphically doesn't reflect you being a man another feature of beauty is adornment now adornment is the use of artificial or uh, makeup or artificial jewelry to add on the beauty special among uh, ladies in many societies a little bit of makeup and jewelry is really regarded as uh, beauty in other studies ladies with big breasts uh, enough hips not too much but enough big hips and a small waist which we call a uh, waist to hips ratio between 0.65 and 0.75 are regarded as beautiful then long hair good smile and a uh, nice voice oh, so what is nice voice really it is subjective in 2017 jessica ray uh, explored the six studies that gave her six features that make women look physically attractive here are the six features that she found out fairly big hips high voice healthy hair good smile less makeup and wearing red dress on the other hand according to berot and francesco for women man's beauty is in height uh, a man who is tall is regarded as handsome uh young uh, a man who is young and useful uh, on the face and with some masitra body especially on the upper part of the body now additionally a man with a flat abdomen that's not protruding is regarded as a handsome man hairlessness yes men with hair on the chest and abdomen too much of that hair are not regarded as beautiful uh, broad shoulders that's handsome and of course good posture and manly manly we talked about diamorphic features so uh, in terms of your posture in terms of your face in terms of your acting you are like a man there is a new book that i'm putting out it will be of about uh, uh 50 to 60 pages uh, in this ebook i've explored the idea of physical beauty and attractiveness and i've gone beyond this shallow level of uh, seeing if it is relevant in our dating and marriage relationships to understanding how to develop beauty from this temporary body to eternity to permanence something that will go beyond uh, the aging and any uh, physical disfigurement I have looked at 10 unique and practical lessons that we can draw from these uh, evidences as Christians in relation to beauty 
and physical attractiveness. In that book, I've explored so much uh, more. I've explored so many examples and evidences, more than I'm doing in this video and even in the article at www.nemvix.com. Come. Uh, for example, I've explored the genitalia aspect of uh, duty, what women and men uh, like in terms of genitalia, which is a hard area because the studies to examine such a handsomeness of beauty uh, have to go beyond uh, people who are dating or who are young or who are what to those who are indeed that in relationships who are able to see and experience uh, the beauty to do with uh, genitalia. And what is more important in my book is that we shall look at how to extend this beauty from just the physical beauty which doesn't make sense to any Christian person, but to the inner beauty that lasts forever beyond the age, beyond the disfigurements of these lives, and which God regards as most precious, just like 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 3 has really uh, showed us. In my book, I also explore the benefits and the disadvantages of being physically attractive i would explore a lot in my book and if you want that ebook it's only five thousand like i said mostly i want to give out my ebooks for free but because we need some little money to support my work i will ask you five thousand which you can send on uh, my mobile money and get the book it's coming out this friday it will be an ebook which you can download at www.namevix.com to wind up our topic today uh, we are going to answer our question which is the part four as is a physical beauty an important factor in dating and marriage relationships? And the answer is yes. In the light of the biblical and non-biblical evidence that we have explored, uh, physical beauty or attractiveness is a prerequisite for you to be understood internally. As in, no man, no woman meets a person and quickly asks, does he respect God? Does he respect elders? Is she God-fearing person? No, each one of us is first attracted by the physical beauty or attractiveness before we can have the chance to explore your inner quality or your inner uh, character. Indeed, studies show that beautiful women have the chance of presenting themselves to so many opportunities, including dating opportunities. And like I have said before, it means that when you are physically beautiful or attractive, you have the opportunity of the first time impression, which gives you the chance to present your inner self to those who are already listening to you. Physical beauty commands attention. It makes people want to listen to you. I have already told you that by the time you ask for a number, by the time you ask someone for an evening tea by the time you demand for any favor from this person you've liked actually you've already chosen simply because the physical appearance of this person called to you it could be the voice it could be the height it could be the face symmetry it could be whatever you liked the hips the breasts the legs you can't know about someone who's in a character unless you are first attracted to her or his physical beauty or attractiveness let's be contextual physical beauty or attractiveness is very much important because it gives you the stage it gives you the opportunity of first time impression it gives you that power to tell people hey listen to me but once they listen to you which is your inner beauty and they find nothing no such a thing as character as inner beauty then physical beauty or attractiveness to you is just as bad as any other weapon in the hands of a fool. In summary, today we have been looking at the relevance of physical beauty or attractiveness in dating and or marriage relationships. To understand it very nicely, we decided to look at it in four parts. In the part one, we explored non-biblical evidence that underpinned the relevance of physical beauty in dating and or marriage relationships. Number two, we explored the biblical evidence that is sure that a physical beauty or attractiveness is a big factor in dating and or marriage relationships and in number three we answered the question what is this physical beauty that we are talking about when we say someone is beautiful or handsome what physical features are we exactly talking about and in the last part we answered our question is a physical beauty an important factor in dating and or marriage relationship Finishing this, it is very important to again go back to the definition of what we said is physical beauty, that it lies in the eyes of the beholder. Here on YouTube, we still have very many parts to explore. So in the next part, 
we shall explore the benefits of being physically beautiful next on Mikla Life YouTube channel in love and relationships. For now, ciao, ciao.